What is happening people, this is welcome back to another video. So today I've got a doozy for you. And uh, we've got this big huge wall. So I've spoke to Phil Webb, the owner of the lot month year, and uh, he is big into his hot rods. But uh, we are doing like a hot rod and a vintage pumping station and diner themed painting on this one. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I've just had a look at his cars now, his collection is phenomenal this cars are beautiful and uh, hopefully we're gonna get one or two of them up on this wall with some pinup girls and some old pumping station tent texaco pumping station and things like that so uh yeah it's gonna be a, a good little painting and i'm really looking forward to it but like always i don't do sketches so i try to work out on the wall so i'm gonna try and break it down what i'm thinking in my head had a little chat with phil now and um We've broken it down into like, it's four different sections. This last section is a little bit tricky because obviously it's got like the angled joist or whatever it is um, in the way. And then it's got like a big shelf over there in the corner. So this is like this dirty area over here. So we're not gonna put much detail or anything nice on that area. We're just gonna put like the pay in pump, the pay part of the pumping station at this point at this part then onto this area we're going to be putting his pickup truck here he's got some really cool images of his uh hot rod uh pickup truck so we're going to put that here then we are going to put like a pinup girl here we're on rollerblades there might be like a little bit of a collage of a couple of uh different images but yeah that's all going to go on there and then we're going to have like the diner part over here so we've got the pumping station on the one hand the car the girl the diner Today it is day one of four and we are going to be marking everything out. I'm going to get everything into some sort of shape, maybe start on the background tomorrow and so on and so on for the rest of the week and uh, hopefully bring it all together. But yeah, really good little painting and I'm really looking forward to getting it started. So let's go. So here we are, day two, and we have refined our design. We've got the diner over here, girl drinking a milkshake, rollerblades, they're moving it around. Uh, we have uh, the pickup truck, Route 66. There's gonna be a pumping station uh, pump here. Then we've got a pumping station going on the end. I haven't marked that out yet because I just want to get this section done. Move on, move on, move on. But um, as for the design, loving it, it looks awesome. And uh, uh, I'm gonna crack on with the diner first, then move, move to the left. So I'm gonna start this side, finish off, and then move on, move on, move on. And uh, hopefully it'll start coming together pretty quick. So um, yeah, struggling really. Uh, this has got like a beam right in the middle here. And uh, I'll have to look at that in the viewfinder. But um, it shouldn't cause too many problems. I reckon on the face, it might cause a little bit of distortion. If you look at it at a certain angle, it might look a bit weird. Let me know what you think of my design. Uh, obviously, I've just freehand designed this was, and I obviously refined it last night on the iPad, which I just showed you. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. But I'm gonna crack on getting some painting done. Got a lot of the one half done. Um, so we're about one and a half days into this one. But um, yeah, it's going really well. Getting like generic shapes in and stuff of the, the, the girl's face with the milkshake. I've got generic shapes in of the rollerblades. I've got my diner in. I've changed in the color of the floor, as you've probably seen. I went a bit purple, didn't like it. So I thought they, they liked the colors with the yellows and the orangey like 
yellows and things like that. You know, the goldy colors looked a little bit better. Trying to brighten up this area a little bit more because it's obviously quite dark over here. But yeah, other than that, background's gone in. On this side, got a little bit of pinks going on. I've got a sunset going on over here. Then I've got the, tr the truck to do tomorrow, which will look epic. Um, first thing when I get in, I'm gonna do this face and the roller blades, get all the detail in, grind that out. Then the tomorrow afternoon then, I'm gonna be working on the truck itself. But um, yeah, I'm gonna put my hand over the screen. See you tomorrow. Back for day three. Today, hopefully we're gonna smash out a lot more. Get this one ship shape and looking pretty fresh. Yeah, those are do, let's get it done. So yes, we are back for day four, three and a half actually. Um, I'm so glad that I'm inside this week painting and doing this mural because outside it is a blowing a gale. You might be able to hear the rain as well. Um, but yeah, what a mad week so far. Um, had a little bit of a appearance on telly yesterday and um, it was a bit of a, it's a bit weird seeing yourself on TV and uh, I've got another appearance going up tonight on S4C which I find is absolutely bonkers that uh, anyone would want to put this mug on uh, on telly but uh, yeah we're uh, back here let's get this one cranked out one more day I'm hoping to get this all done today got this last panel to do the car to do little touch-ups down here but other than that we've got a lot to do but other than that, it's going really well. Um, I am struggling a little bit with putting the paint on here because it does this like weird textury bubbly thing. And I have no idea why, but it still looks cool. I can't see it, but as soon as you stand back, you go really close, you can. But uh, I think it's just from too much paint in one area. So uh, I'm going to be a little bit more sparse with it now when I, I paint the rest of this mural because uh, it's happened with just the red, it looks like. The rest of it is absolutely perfect. But um, yeah, um, I'm gonna chuck you on a time-lapse, maybe film a little bit here and there, but hope you're enjoying it. Let's go. So we are on the home stretch, truck is done, got to get this bottom bit down underneath there and then I am done on section three. Section four is a pumping station, so we got Texaco, Texaco, Cityscape and there it's all done, everything. Then I can reveal it all together, Re I can reveal it all together. So yeah, and then I'll be done. Um, sorry for the singing. I'm, I'm loving the way that this is turning out. And um, I'm gonna quickly get this section wrapped up. There's not a lot to it. It's not as much detail as in, it is in the rest of it. Most of the detail is in the Texaco garage. And then we got a little bit of a cityscape in the background. But um, I love to paint in the truck. The truck looks awesome. Um, never done one of them before. Doubt I'll ever do it in, in the future. But uh, a nice hot rod. Uh, Ford truck from the 50s looks awesome up on the wall and uh, I've enjoyed painting it it's been a challenge but uh, that's what we do when we do commissions like this you always challenge yourself because people ask for weird and wonderful things so yeah I can get this wrapped up and then uh, we can get on to the reveal
Wow, it is 9.30 Friday night. I am absolutely shattered. Don't know if that comes across in the big huge bags under my eyes, but it's finished. It's all done. And it looks so beautiful. So yeah, this is all done. My 1950s hot rod and diner mural here with Phil Webb's uh, haulage company. He is very much into his hot rods and vintage cars and stuff. And uh, I'm so glad that I got the opportunity to get here um, and paint this one. We added in some little details here and there. So we added in like, uh, this is actually a famous calf from 1950s. And this would have said Mel's drive by or drive through or something, um, or drive in. Uh, but we changed it to say Phil's diner. Then we've got the rollerblades because they would have come, the girls would have come out with rollerblades to take your order. Then we have the 1950s style uh, girl with the milkshake, the hot rod, Route 66. The one and only T2 Sugars, the Texaco garage, and the pumping station. We have a little bit of like a city backdrop on that one. But yeah, I'm gonna get some final shots of this one. If you have enjoyed watching me paint this one, make sure you like and subscribe. I post a new video every Sunday. Well, I try to post every Sunday, but uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe. See you on the next one. Peace.